I am at a Circle K truck stop. I stayed the night here last night and I woke up this morning and it's pouring down rain and I don't like to travel on rainy days so I thought I would just sit here catch up on watching some videos of some of my friends and just hang out. It's a bit chilly. It's 61 degrees. I did have my propane Wave 3 heater going earlier this morning. I just turned it off, but it is still kind of chilly in here. But I thought I'd take this time to uh, tell you my testimony. As a child growing up, I was the middle child. I was always taller for my age and very insecure. I could not um, go into a room or a place by myself. Just very insecure. I could not look anybody in the eye and talk to them. I couldn't eat in front of anybody. I was just so insecure about my words and my actions and my movements. I was that way into my early adulthood. And then one day, walking down the road, I was in the military and I was getting ready for a PT test. And I'm walking down the road and I wasn't raised in church and the only thing I knew about Jesus was that he was born at Christmas and because of that we gave gifts. So I wasn't taught to receive, I was only taught to give. But walking down the road one day I looked up and I saw this beautiful tree, dogwood tree. And I felt this presence, and I said, Jesus, if that's you, then I want to know you. And that day my life changed. Now, it wasn't like an instant change, because I knew nothing about the Bible or how to read the Bible or anything, but I rushed home and I grabbed the Bible out of the drawer that my mom had, and I opened it up and I thought you read it like a book. So I went to the first page and it said so and so begat so and so and so and so begat so and so. And I was like, well, I can't get into this. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, it was a process to learn and how to learn and, and study the Bible for me. But what did change that day was peace. I received peace in my heart. Because up to that point, I've always loved cars, and I had fast cars and, and sports cars, and I had a Camaro, and it was it was really my baby. Loved that. But driving it down the road, sometimes a little voice would tell me, just go fast and hit that tree and get it over with. And then my next thought would be, well, no, it will mess up my car. So I think the Lord uses things in our lives to keep us from doing stupid stuff. <laughs> But I'm thankful that I didn't do anything stupid. I was too scared to do anything stupid. But that day, I was set free. It wasn't an instant, total restoration. It took years of work, but I was grateful for the journey. So then my next journey in life is I got married, I had a child, and so I had to work and raise my child. And then, when he was about nine years old, the divorce came, and I became a single mom. And from raising him till he got out on his own, until I was 62, then I would work a job, and once I accomplished it and learned it, I was bored with it, and I moved on to another job and started all over again. I've owned several businesses uh, on my own. And, like I said, grew tired with them. I had a restless spirit. I wanted to move constantly. I wanted to travel. I wanted to see things. But I could never figure out how to do that and make a living, too. Because I was so far in debt. that I had to work. I had the toys, the motorcycles, the Corvettes, the sports cars the home, things that we were raised to have. We were raised to 
grow up, get a job, get a house with white picket fence, and live happily ever after. For some of us, that doesn't work. I have always said that I have a gypsy spirit. I guess I just got a mood where others are completely comfortable having the house and the white picket fence. Some of us have different journeys. And one day, sitting in the refiner, watching YouTube channels, I came across a guy who moved into his van full time and began van life. And I thought, oh, that would, that's the, that's the answer. Because I would be continuously moving day in and day out. And that would satisfy my gypsy spirit of wanting to go all the time. So I began making plans. I was working at a car dealership. I was able to search the options. Uh, the first vehicle I bought, when it arrived on the uh, trailer, I was like, mm, no, that's too small. I can't do that. <laughs> so I sent it to the auction and sold it, made a little money on it. So the second vehicle I bought, it broke down 30 minutes down the road, bringing it back in. But then I realized that it was way too big. Uh, I didn't want nothing that big. It was a uh, Nissan NV2500. Would have been perfect for a build-out, but I just wasn't comfortable with it being that big. So, continued to search the auctions, and I found a minivan. 2008 Ford Econoline, one owner, with 52,000 miles. So, I bought her. And while I continued to work, I built her out. And once I finished it, I listed my house for sale November the 1st, 2020. It sold November the 1st, 2020. <laughs> but I was still working. And my boss was like, well, you can't leave. Um, just park your van in the back of the business. So I parked in the back of the dealership and continued to work till that July of 2021 when he sold the business. And I hit the road. I was traveling and going to New York to see my grandkids when my son called and said he needed help with the grandkids. And so I just went straight there and for eight months I parked in his driveway and helped him with his kids uh, until he could get on his feet. And then April of this past year I hit the road full time and I have truly enjoyed this journey. This satisfies my gypsy spirit of needing to move continuously. And I am thankful that the Lord has brought me this far, helped me to get where I am, and life is a journey. You have to figure out your journey. You can't do what others want you to do. You have to figure it out for yourself. And I'm thankful that the Lord has shown me that this is my journey. I wouldn't have been able to do this kind of a life had I still been in my old life. Thanks for watching. If you hadn't already done so, hit that like button and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I appreciate you. Have a great day. I can see you far and wide Across the ocean, above the clouds In your presence, I am free I hear your whisper through the wind There's no place that I would rather be So let this moment last Oh
I've searched myself I've tried to figure out Who I am And you were always there to lift me up Cause no one else You make me love like you You give me strength I can feel you in the sunlight And through the cold nights when I close my eyes I am walking, oh Lord Beneath the starlight, a love so pure There's no place that I would rather be So let this moment last I've searched myself I've tried to figure out Who I am And you were always there to lift me up Cause no one else